Hello, people. Today I have with us the option armor for Spy Drone. This is the Rabiot exclusive uh, in light gray. Uh, as you see here, there is a, another one of these little uh, Roy Roy units, and this one is quite a cool one with some really interesting two wheeled system. Uh, it's interesting to say the least. I like the way it rocks back and forth, that's really cute. Uh, but the armor is quite impressive it is similar to the other um drone version you that same waist armor and uh, a really interesting chest pack that looks opened up and that face is really really cool i like that wide look it makes them look very uh very different very uh like an unmanned unit i guess i would say uh, if you painted those two little sections there, I think they would look really great as eyes. Or, contrary-wise, those two little slits there would be another cool place to put eyes in. And then I also have his shield, which just plugs into his arm, just like the other uh, unit that I, or the other armor set that I reviewed last time. You may be wondering what parts get replaced. That would be uh, this faceplate here. This chest plate, which is significantly smaller than the one that's on him already. And this part, which uh, that center piece replaces. I happen to really like this one because it has those connections for the C uh, connectors. Uh, but there is an appeal to this one without them. It does look compact and quite nice. Um, personally, I think this adds a lot to it. Like I said, that open chest look, it's a, it's very, it's a very uh, unique look. I uh, don't see too many that are like that that aren't designed as weapons. So that might be what they're after on that look. I really dig it either way. Uh, that shield is very uh, nice as well with the tree uh, the three sides with lots of three millimeter connections on the front of it as well as the seat connectors on the sides this one also does um, detach and you can connect it via seat connectors here or you can compress it a little bit putting it up here um, it is very customizable there very adaptable I do think the faceplate is a little uh, curmudgeon-esque, you know, it has that crinkled up tight face, uh, but it does look really uh, interesting. If I were to say it was anything in particular, I would say that it looks like a mining outfit, like just a really heavy duty, thick looking plate, um, like for construction work. Now the last one that I reviewed for this, uh, that had this interesting Roy Roy, was also a spy drone unit. So that is why this one looks exactly the same as that one, uh, as far as the Roy Roy. But that one came with like a claw or six legged look where this one comes with the wheels. I don't know why they went a different direction and I don't know why this one looks different than the other uh, as far as the gray option set versus the white. But it is really cool that you have some variation between the sets. So. I like this one a lot. I do prefer the wheels on the other one. These are able to fold down, so if you wanted to do something else, you want him to look like he's flying, he can do that too. Uh, it's a very interesting way to uh, put these together. Also, if you wanted to lift this up, let's see if I can do that without snapping it. There is a three millimeter port there, and this one is capable of sitting on the back here like a radar dish which is nice uh, it does have that peg in the middle but if you put it the other way maybe it won't look so tacky it works you know it's not the best but it's a thing let's put that back on uh, and of course because it is a Roy Roy they do give you the slot to make that the head on your um, 30 minute missions kit so you pull these guys off, you pop his head off, and you attach this one here, and then he has a very interesting head. 
and this one is now the AI uh, Roy Roy driven vehicle, which is pretty cool. I like the I like the size of it. Maybe take those things off as well. And then of course, because this is 30 minute missions, there are plenty of three millimeter ports on the bottom side of this thing to uh, play with as well. They let you have these three millimeter ports on here that the wheels can turn on and another set on the outside, uh, which do function if you wanted to uh, put one on you know, one side or the other, you're able to do that. Very adaptable, these 30 minute machine kits are. This was another set that I got when it was on clearance. I think I paid $3.99 for it. You can find them around that price. Normally they are $4.99, $5.99, I don't remember which, but up there in that range, which is not expensive, but considering the parts you get, there's not that many either. So it's up to you to decide whether you like the price or not. I happen to think it's a pretty good deal one way or the other. I did get them on sale, of course, but that is uh, something that you can't predict whether it's going to be on sale or not. Either way, I think that it was a worthwhile buy. I really like this Roy Roy. He's a lot of fun. I do wish he kind of came with a four-wheel option. That would be kind of cool, too. Um, but with the two wheels, it's, a, it's an interesting look. Uh, if this was some sort of spy, it's actually going to be huge. Uh, this is in 1144 scale, so <laughs> he's a big, big, big guy. Uh, a truck would probably be about as um, like half, half this size, so... Honestly, it's pretty large, but in terms of scale, you know, you don't necessarily have to go with what it actually says. Uh, that is something that you can manipulate in your own mind for your own story. Um, I happen to like the idea of a deployable drone like this uh, to, to play around. Uh, that was one of my most favorite features of one of my number 57 kits. Uh, that would be the Combat Type 9, I think. No, Combat Type 5. And uh, he came with two deployable drones, one flying and one walking. And those are really cool. I, so that's something that I really like to see. Uh, a Combat Type mech and a deployable helper. I think that's actually one of the reasons I like the uh, MS General Girls so much, because they come with a little helper as well. But staying on point, I do really like this one. I think that at $3.99, it was definitely worth the purchase. At $5, it might be a little bit of a stretch. It's not a bad deal, though. And these parts, they are, like I said, infinitely customizable. Very, very nice set of uh, things to play with to see what you can get customizable-wise. I do like that face a lot. It's one of my favorites so far that I've seen. So uh, hopefully we see that in a custom sometime very soon. Uh, but I will stop bugging you about this set, guys. I will see you guys next time, or you'll see me. But more than likely, you'll see my stuff. Bye-bye.